What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be grading Bob Quinn's 2019 free agent class. In particular, I'm going to be grading the signings of Danny Amendola, Justin Coleman, Mike Daniels, Trey Flowers, Jesse James, and Rashawn Melvin. Now please keep in mind that I'm not necessarily grading the way the player performed as much as I'm grading the signing, if that makes any sense. Yeah, the way the player performed obviously affects the grade, but this grade's more for Bob Quinn than it is for these players, if that makes sense. But yeah, let's jump right into it. We'll start off with Danny Amendola. Danny Amendola, in his one-year deal, had a cap hit of $4,484,375. He played in 15 games, had 62 receptions for 678 yards and one touchdown. I think this signing is worthy of a B plus. Next up, we got Justin Coleman. As we all know, the Lions backloaded a bunch of contracts, and this is one of them. In 16 games, Justin Coleman had 53 combined tackles, 46 solo tackles, 7 assists on tackles, 3 forced fumbles, 1 fumble recovery, an interception, along with 13 passes defended. I think this signing is worthy of a B plus as well. Coleman had some up games, he had some down games, but overall, I liked what Justin Coleman did in his first season as a Lion. Next up, we got Mike Daniels, who signed a one-year deal. He had a cap hit of $8,081,250. He only played nine games, had ten combined tackles, six sole tackles, four assists on tackles, two tackles for loss, and a sack. Now, I don't really know what to give this one. Daniels did get injured quite a bit this season. In all honesty, I'm going to have to give this signing a D-. Daniels did not really get a chance to affect the game too much when he signed with us. So yeah, I'm going to have to give it a D-. The injury certainly dragged this signing down. Now, with the Trey Flowers signing, I'm probably giving it a higher grade than most of you would probably give it. I'm giving it a B minus. He played in 15 games, 52 combined tackles, 33 solo tackles, 19 assists on tackles, eight tackles for loss, seven sacks and two forced fumbles. Yeah, he didn't come in and be like a Khalil Mack or anything like that, but he did a pretty decent job. I mean, he produced pretty much exactly what he's produced for his entire career, and he started to come on as the season went on. So yeah, I'm content with giving this signing a B minus. Next up, we got Jesse James. He played in 16 games. He had 16 receptions for 142 yards. Other than the Mike Daniels signing, this is probably the second most disappointing signing of the free agents. Now, whether it was because we didn't use him as much as we should have or that he wasn't that good, there's no other grade I can give this signing but an F. If you want to say, well, he wasn't used properly. Well, exactly. Why'd you bring him in here if you weren't going to use him that much? Why'd you sign him to that much money when you weren't going to use him that much? Now, I'm not saying that James is a bad player yet, or that he can't live up to the contract eventually, but this signing just felt like the most pointless signing, if that makes any sense. Well, thankfully, we can potentially cut him after next year, so I guess we'll see what happens. Last up, we got Rashawn Melvin, who had a cap hit of $2,131,250, in 13 games, Melvin recorded 67 combined tackles, 59 solo tackles, 8 assists on tackles, and 11 passes defended. Now, Melvin didn't even record a turnover of any kind this season. I'm going to give it a B-. It's just kind of blah to me, honestly. He had some good games, he had some bad games, but I'm content giving this signing a B-. I'm going to go ahead and give this overall free agency class a C. Quinn had some hits, he had some misses, but I guess we'll just see what happens next year. Well, that'll be all for this video. What do you guys think? Do you think I graded some free agents too high or too low? Or do you think I graded this class as a whole too high, too low? Just let me know in the comments below, I guess. And thank you for watching.